Okay, in my last video, I showed you how to make SAS base uh, uh, data tables and library into the university edition. I'm going to move to different chapters now. So, components of a SAS program includes data step, proc step, and data step and proc step. Data step typically creates or modifies SAS data set. They can also be used to produce custom design reports. For example, you can use data step to put your data in SAS data, compute values, check for and correct errors in your data, produce new SAS data by subsetting, supersetting, merging, and updating existing records. In the previous example, the data step uh, produced a new SAS data containing the subset of the original data. Uh, the PROC step invokes or calls predetermined and routines that enable you to analyze and process the data in a SAS data set. PROC step typically present the data in form of a report. They sometimes create new SAS data sets that uh, contain the result of procedure. Create a report that lists the data produced. So these are some uh, PROC steps. I'll uh, go to the first program. So the data step was data, then a set command, additional programming statement, run, PROC statement, and run. Okay, log messages. Now each of uh, our command, when we run, we get a tab of log messages. A log messages uh, would have the line number then it would say like there were 10 observations read from the data set the data had 10 observations and 9 variables and the runtime that you get then you have the procedure output which is the output of that data set okay says program often invokes procedures that create output in a form of a report as in case with the tabulate procedures, so proc tabulate data is equal to size user dot admit class uh, sex v a r variables height and weight uh, table sex multiplied by height and weight and mean. So let's try to see if we have this in the code. So I'm going back to the data and see. So we already have that. So I select that and I run it. I get uh, the table height weight uh, so let's analyze the code what uh, got us here so we have proc tabulate so we are directly starting with the proc command we have the tabulate keyword what's the data that we are going to use here it's admit to if you see on the left hand side this is the admit to uh, then we have class variable and table so mean sex is male and female height and weight so the way in which uh, it has to be arranged is uh, gender multiplied by height and weight and we want the mean of that and we have variable height and weight so we can have uh, the tabular way of presenting that data proc copy in out select that make other says performs take sorting and managing data which has no visible result except for messaging and logs all says programs produce log messages but what says some SAS programs produce only log messages. Then you have libraries. So far you have learned about SAS program. Now let's look at SAS libraries to see how SAS data sets and other SAS files are organized and stored. How SAS files are stored. Each SAS file is stored in a SAS library which is a collection of SAS files. SAS data library is the highest level organization of information within SAS. For example in Windows and Unix environments a library typically has a group of SAS files in the same folder or the directory. So you have admin. So in, in the case here, what we have, the, the name of the library is cert prep. And if you remember, this is how I referred uh, to SAS user library to this folder. So I'm referring that library to uh, that folder. And that is the content of uh, data library. And these are the SAS files. Now, based on the environment, a group of SAS files are associated with the same other file can be OS directly and so on. So you would just give the directory and then it would uh, Use it. Depending on the library name that you use, you can source, uh, store SAS file temporarily or permanently and SAS data library temporary and permanent. Now, the case that I did, it was temporary. So, when I restart my computer or I restart the system, I have to run this code again, which is uh, uh, making this library to work because this has to be done each time. If I don't do it, I get an error. So library name clinic, data clinic, admit to, set clinic. I did it once, so I just showed you how I did it. And then I used the data 
and set command now here I gave the library name as SAS user and not clinic so whenever I'm using everything I'll use the SAS user so I'll quickly get that to show you so I gave the name as uh, SAS user and not clinic so whenever I want to use something like uh, anything inside then I will use SAS uh, user do, do we have this admit wait round wait no we don't have it but yeah this is the idea that I'll use SAS user dot uh, something to see if I have the SAS file I'll scroll on the left and see and I should be able to find all of the things here is type it is so that's uh, something that's present in, in this uh, data set or this folder so library name dot file name is what we are doing which is a two name uh, system the library name given to us is uh, nothing but the file locate the, lo the location of the folder where we are storing all of the files so to reference you can specify uh, to reference temporary SAS files you can specify the default library work or period and the file name for example two level name of work test reference the SAS data set name test that is stored in a SAS library work so that is a two label SAS uh, library work dot test alternatively you can use one level name which is the file name only to reference a uh, file in a temporary SAS library when you specify one level name the default life function is assumed for example one level name also references the SAS uh, data set name test that is stored in the temporary SAS library so if you can just use the uh, file name also so you have libref and file name referencing permanent data set rules for SAS name these rules apply only for file name portion of SAS data set name Libref can have a length of only 8 characters as data set names and variable can be 1 to 32 characters might be A to Z these are example of some varied names as data set so so far you have seen the components and characteristic of SAS programs including how they reference as data set data sets are one type of SAS file there are other type of SAS files such as catalogs uh, but this chapter focuses on SAS data set for most procedures data must be in form of SAS data set to be processed so overview of SAS data set as you know in the sample program for many of the data processing tasks that you perform you have to access data in form of SAS data set analyze manage or present data conceptually a SAS data is a file that consists of two parts a descriptor portion and a data portion some SAS data set also points to one or more indexes which enables us to locate rows in data set more efficiently so you have a descriptive portion a data portion and indexes description portion of SAS data sets contain information about the name of the data set data and so on description portion attributes are like member type engine created observation then you have data portion then you have observation then you have variables missing values variable attributes name type and so on so I would switch that and then you have attributes and then you have in format so whatever formats write values out using some particular format in format read data values in certain forms into SAS uh, values in formats determine how data values are read into SAS determined you must use in formats to read numeric values that contain letters or other special characters so data values as in format and SAS data value for example, numeric value of dollar twelve comma three four five or zero zero contains two special character, a dollar sign and a comma. You must use in format to read the value while removing the dollar sign and a comma and then store the result as a standard numeric number. So for total below the comma ten in format is specified. So if you see here format is dollar ten and in format is comma. The label is total balance. So that's how we store the in format attribute label a variable can have a label which consists of descriptive types up to 256 character by default many reports identify variables by their names you may want to display more descriptive information about the variables by assigning a label to the variable for example you can label policy as policy number total as total balance name as patient name so that you can write on the label because uh, you want to keep the variable name smaller so using the SAS main window now since we are using the university edition we don't have this window but uh, when we use SAS we have primary, uh, several primary windows this include explorer log output results the window you use to edit your SAS program may vary depending on your operations you may use this SAS window to explore and manage your file and enter and submit SAS program to view messages and to view and manage your output 
so this is output log program editor and this is uh, the code this is not relevant so I'm just moving down okay this is the result viewer which is the output window so creating SAS library, uh, SAS files are stored in library, define several libraries, SAS help, SAS user and work. SAS help is a permanent layer that contains sample files and other files that control how SAS works. This is read only, SAS user is a permanent library that contains SAS files and profile catalog that store your personal setting uh, and work. Active SAS, defining libraries. To define a library, you must set a library name to it and specify a path such as a directory path. You can also use specific you can also specify an engine which is set of internal instruction that SAS uses uh, for writing to and reading from in form of library creating and using file shortcut so an external file that is created and maintained in your host operating system external file consists of data or text such as SAS programming statement raw data or procedural output SAS can use external file but they are not managed by SAS a file shortcut file ref is an optional name that is used to identify an external file. File shortcuts are stored in the file shortcut folder. You can use file shortcut to open, browse, and submit a file. When you delete a file shortcut, the pointer to the file is deleted. SAS no longer accesses the file. However, the file still exists in your environment. Okay, so this is a summary. We saw components of SAS, characteristic of SAS program. Processing SAS program when you submit a SAS program, SAS read SAS statement, check, check for error when it encounters subsequent data proc run, SAS executes the previous step in the previous. Each time the step is executed, SAS generates a log of <coughs> processing activity and results the processing. Then you have SAS library, SAS file is stored in SAS library, which is a collection of SAS file such as SAS data SAS and catalogs in window and Unix environment. A SAS library is typically a group of SAS files in a same folder or directory. Depending on the library you use, you can store SAS file in a temporary or a permanent library. Temporary SAS files that are created during the session are held in a special workspace that is assigned to the default lib library work. If you don't want to specify a library and you create the file stored in temporary SAS. When you end the session, temporary file li library is deleted. To store permanently in like you assign it a live ref other than the default work. For example, by assuming live refs as user to SAS library, you can specify that files are to be stored until you delete them. Referencing SAS files, uh, SAS data set, variable attribute using the SAS main window. Oh, so these were the points to remember. Then you have a quiz, which talks about how many observation and variable you have. Uh, how many program steps are executed, uh, what are the type of variables and so on. So this was chapter 1.